Hi, I'm Stuart. Hi, I'm Dave. And today we are going to be debating whether or not food should carry appropriate warning labels. For me, I think that food should carry appropriate warning labels in so much as I'd like to know how much sugar, um, fat um, and calories my food contains. Um, more often than not, if I'm in a supermarket and I'm looking at a snack, um, I will say to myself, actually, do I really want that right now, um, given how many calories are in it or how much sugar there is in it? Um, so I think it's really useful that on the very front of a, of, of a bar of chocolate or a milkshake or even you know such, something just such as a cereal bar would contain that information so I can say to myself, actually, you know what? That's probably not a good idea right now. Okay, I see what you mean. But uh, I feel that having these extra warning labels can be a bit superfluous when we have... Uh, you know the ingredients are listed on the back, which gives you a you know a scientific breakdown of what's there. A warning label, um, it's something which can be a bit misleading. So it looks like it's a nice system of reds, orange, green. It's like oh, lots of greens, that's fine. Lots of oranges, that's fine. But then you have to look like well, what's the portion size? Um, you know, just because something is orange or red doesn't necessarily mean it's bad for you. Um, you know, fats often something that people look at I think oh red fats that's bad but you need fats uh, for all sorts of things that your body requires um, if people were more willing to look into the ingredients themselves and not have these sort of snappy warning labels they might get a better understanding of their diet and what exactly is going into their bodies um, true I do agree um, I think that it is incredibly useful to sometimes sit and kind of look at the label on the back um, but for me, sometimes you have to be able to make that informed decision very, very quickly. If, for example, I'm a worker out on my lunch break and I'm maybe trying to watch the calories or maybe trying to watch the sugar and I see something with a red label and something with an orange label, I can make the decision between two meals and go, tell you what, I'll have the one with the orange label right now. Um, whenever I've looked at the back of labels, and this might just be myself, I often find it can be quite confusing in so much as it will say per 100 grams or per half a packet and per packet and at that point I'm a little bit like so which one should I be measuring because it's a very unique measurement of the food itself mm -hmm. and I often find it a little bit more confusing to look at the back so having that quick snapshot for me is incredibly useful even if like you say um, which I will concede that sometimes the red sort of amber green can be a little bit misleading. Okay, I see what you mean about wanting that quick decision, but I feel that is almost part of the problem itself. Uh, people are looking for like an easy, quick answer about their nutrition, uh, which isn't always necessarily helpful. Um, part of your diet should be sort of examining what goes into you and making sure that it's okay. If you have this label and you sort of just at a glance think, okay, that's fine, I'll take that over that do you really know that it's better for you? You know, a, a Diet Coke, for example, which has no calories and no fat, no sugar, will have all green labels, but is artificial sweetener really good for you? Um, compared to a bottle of fruit juice, which might have a red label for sugar, but, you know, it's got healthy nutrients in it. And, you know, I feel that's something that can mislead people because they're going to get too used to this quick system of, yeah, that's good, yeah, that's bad, without really knowing the underlying science behind it. Um, I feel like the government should, they should be responsible for making sure that nothing harmful is being produced in terms of like, uh, it, something that you can eat in responsible portions and you'll, you'll be fine. Uh, I feel though that they should not go too far in um, legislating on exactly what people should be eating or what should be going on to the boxes and um, again I feel that people should be making their own choices and form choices based on their own diet and preferences um, and if the government starts um, asking companies to put quick information on boxes or like warning labels and stuff I feel it just confuses people too much they don't actually look at uh, the actual numbers themselves they'll just look for the warning tags and labels and stuff stuff which whilst helpful at a glance isn't really helpful if you're wanting to make informed choices um, I, I do agree um, I think there should perhaps be more information available on labels rather than just simply a colour-coded um, 
kind of grid that you currently get at the minute. Um, I, like you say, I think that can be a little bit misleading in, in, in so much as you might say, this is all green, therefore it is healthy, when actually you might be missing out on those nutrients. But I do think the government do have a responsibility to make sure that that information is quick and readily available to customers. Um, at its current state, um, the traffic light system isn't mandatory, which means that some brands can opt in, some can opt out, which means that some customers are then being forced to kind of look at the back of packaging, which I find even more confusing at present um, than being able to say, I know this has 25% of my daily allowance of sugar, or this has 500 calories. Um, so for me, I think maybe revisiting the warning label would be something that would, would work quite well. Um, but I do believe that the government have a hand in, in making these companies, making customers aware that certain foods are bad for you, are high in sugar, are high in fat, and not necessarily the good type of fat um, and the good type of sugar that, that you need in your diet. For me, I think it's very much a yes. Um, I do like the idea of being able to go into a shop um, in a moment's notice and say to myself, the, the, the contents of this packaging of food are better for me than making um, a decision over another type of food. Um, like I say, it is important that a person has a greater understanding of their, their diet as a whole rather than just using warning sort of labels to do that. But sometimes it is really handy to have that kind of snap decision moment where you can go, I want to eat this or I don't based on, on, on that traffic light. Um, again, I think that should especially apply to foods that are high in things like trans fats um, or processed sugars, um, just to make customers aware that actually fruit juice has a lot of good naturally occurring sugar, whereas this fizzy drink has a lot of processed sugar in. So while the sugar content may very well be the same, it's actually useful to have something that tells the customer that while the sugar content is exactly the same, one of them is technically better for you because the body is better at breaking that down. Um, so for me, I think all food should carry some sort of system that inform you of its nutrient content that goes just beyond having the scientific breakdown on the back. Because I think for many people, um, it can be quite confusing, it can be quite time consuming um, to break those down especially if you are you know, um, a busy family with, with, with um, kind of time constraints on your hand when it comes to cooking. Sometimes it's easier just to say, I know that the calorie content of this isn't too high. I know the sugar content is reasonable. And I know that if, because the fat content is a bit too high, I may have to skip dessert or maybe not snack between meals. Um, so it's about making informed choices and perhaps looking at um, whether or not the information that is given to us at present in terms of the scientific breakdown, whether or not that is actually appropriate. Okay, I see your point, but coming back to your point about you know a family just wanting to see, um, you know, oh, that's got this, this has got this. I feel that's a good example where actually we shouldn't have these sort of simple labels on food and they certainly shouldn't be mandatory. I think if they are, you know, mandatory, um, like a family, like you said, they can glance at these things, but, you know, it, it's not necessarily giving them all the information they need or it might be giving them misleading information like we came uh, to sort of a bit of agreement I think about how fruit juice <coughs> you know can be better for you than a Diet Coke uh, even though it would have worse warning labels yeah. I feel that's the kind of thing that mandatory food labels would confuse people about I think if you apply that to every single product uh, manufacturers would have their hands ties um, to put these on and it would you know, not necessarily in all cases be right. Another example could be things like nuts, for example, like full of fat, but again, possibly better for you than low fat crisps, which might have, you know, medium levels of everything, but be full of chemicals and E numbers and all other sorts of things like that. So I feel like making that mandatory will just not, uh, it will make consumers too lazy to actually look at what is there. Uh, within the ingredients themselves and I feel that's an important thing that everyone should learn I feel that rather than <coughs> putting these warning labels and everything in order to let people make a decision we should put the onus back onto people to make the decision themselves and the way to do that I think is to make clear accurate information on the back that uh, they should be able to read without these sort of gimmicky warning labels on yeah I agree um, I'm of, of a similar mindset in, in so much as Yes, there are certain foods that are higher in fat and are higher in sugar that are actually better for us um, just by the fact that they are natural. Um, for me, I think, again, 
you've kind of said that you know it's about making sure that people are aware that certain types of fat and certain types of sugar are better than others and for me i think that's where the warning label would be very very useful at the moment perhaps they don't give you that information and you know you might look at a bar of chocolate and compare it to a packet of nuts and go oh these have got the same fat tell you what i'll have the chocolate bar because people aren't making that informed decision but if there was something on there that said the nature of this sugar in the chocolate bar is processed and or the nature of the fat in there is uh, trans fats um, obviously on the other hand the nuts would say this is all natural the body can break this down easier something along those lines that makes a person go oh now I can kind of see why that is yeah I can see your points about how you know just having something to look at that says this is a good fat this is a bad fat um, there is a there is a benefit to that and even though maybe people should look at the ingredients themselves if there was just something to maybe point people in that direction maybe not a traffic light system which I feel is a bit simplistic uh, but just a line to say you know maybe look at the sugar on this maybe look at the fat on this then people can make that informed decision themselves but with a little prompt perhaps that may uh, you know be the best of both worlds um, so it looks like we've actually found a little bit of common ground on this um, but what do you think <laughs>